Are you wondering why you should move to Claremont County, Ohio? Well, I'm going to give you five things you will love about Claremont County, Ohio. Coming up now. I am Jim Hood with Fathom Realty, serving Southwest Ohio and Northern Kentucky. Claremont County is rather unique. U.S. News and World Reports ranked the region number 53 as a place to live. In ranking the best of affordable places to live, livability in 2018 ranked the region as number 10. A quick overview of the county started in the Northwest with Loveland. Loveland is serviced by the Loveland School District, which actually covers the three corners of Claremont, Hamilton, and Warren counties. Going south, we come to Milford, the city of Milford, parts of Miami Township, and actually parts of Union Township are serviced by the Milford School District. Sliding a little further to the south, we come to the Eastgate area. Eastgate is not a political entity per se, but is a general location, a general area, mostly known for its shopping. It is located in Union Township and is serviced by the West Claremont School District. Also serviced by the West Claremont School District is the Amelia area. Recently, the citizens of the village of Amelia voted itself out of existence. So now Amelia is actually divided on the north by Batavia Township and on the south by Pierce Township. Going to the south, down to the river, we come to New Richmond. New Richmond is very much a river town and is serviced by the New Richmond School District. Turning back to the north and east, we come to Felicity. Felicity is a village that is very much in a rural area. It is serviced by the Felicity Franklin School District. Going north from Felicity, we come to Bethel. Bethel being on State Route 125 is a little bit more connected and has seen some growth over the recent history. It is a nice village that is serviced by the Bethel Tate School District. Going to the north and a little to the west, we come to Batavia. There is Batavia Township as well as the village of Batavia. It's being located on Route 32, has seen a lot of growth over the recent years and is serviced by the Batavia School District for the most part, but the outside outlaying areas when you get outside into the township as well as going up into Stonelick Township, you come into the Claremont Northeastern School District. Directly east from Batavia is Williamsburg. It is again a little bit more of a rural setting, but is also located just off of State Route 32. It is serviced by the Williamsburg School District. North of Williamsburg, we come to Goshen. It is again another more of a rural location. The Goshen School District services Goshen and the surrounding area. Down below is a link to a relocation guide for Claremont County. Just look down below, just, uh, just yeah, keep going down. It's right down there. So what are the five things that you will really like about Claremont County? Number one are the activities and entertainment. The area, especially along the 275 corridor, offers a lot of different movie theaters, as well as going out State Route 125, you come to the Starlight Drive-In Movie Theater. There are game centers, for example, the Family Fun Center, which is Scene 75. Scene 75 has a lot of different activities, including go-kart inside. Down along the river is Belterra. That is a horse racing venue, as well as casino. There are also various concert venues across the county, including the well-known River Bend, which hosts nationally known performances. Outside of Greater Claremont, there is everything that is being offered throughout the entire Greater Cincinnati area, places like Kings Island. There are a lot of sporting events. There's professional sports such as the Cincinnati Reds, the Bengals, and also an ice hockey team, the Cincinnati Cyclones. Also with the sporting events, there are colleges such as University of Cincinnati and Xavier University. And University of Cincinnati Bearcats have recently been in the national spotlight with their football team. Second reason you will love Greater Claremont County are its parks. There are a ton of parks throughout the area. There are two state parks, Stone Lake State Park and then the East Fork State Park. East Fork State Park is huge. It is built around a man-made lake includes many, many different activities. Needless to say, there's water sports, there's horseback riding, there's archery, there's hiking, and amazingly, there is a dedicated field for remote control aircraft. 
There are a multitude of local parks, township parks, city parks, village parks, and many of them also offer sporting fields for youth softball, baseball, and even pickleball. Among the parks, there is also a 50 mile long biking trail. If you love nature, you need to check out the Cincinnati Nature Center. The third thing you will love about Claremont County are the events. There are many local events. One of them I'm sure you're going to like are the many farmers markets that are across the area, as well as farmers produce stands that dot street corners throughout the growing season. There are a lot of local events. For example, Milford has Frontier Days and New Richmond has River Days. One of the high points in the summer is the county fair that is held in Owensville. If you are into collectible cars, whether they be antiques or cars that have been hopped up, you will love the pumpkin run that meets every year at the fairgrounds. The fourth thing that you will love about Claremont County are the dining and shopping opportunities. There's a very good selection of dining opportunities throughout the area. There is fine dining. There's obviously a lot of fast food. There are also chain restaurants, for example, Applebee's. The Cherry on the Sunday are the many local diners, for example, like Poochie's. There's actually a link here for a video where we interviewed Poochie. In the realm of shopping, one of the main hubs for shopping is the Eastgate area. There's pretty much a store there for everything of interest. The fifth thing you will love about Claremont County is it is not urban. It's close enough to take advantage of many of the opportunities without being swallowed up by the asphalt and cement of the urban setting. Remember to check out down below for the relocation guide link for Claremont County. I've also included other links for information, for example, homes in the various school districts to give you an idea of what is available. And just over my shoulder, you might want to check this out. This is a link that will give you videos of other points of interest throughout the area of Claremont County. And remember, please subscribe and like this video. Have yourself a great one.